So it's that time of the week again, Sunday, the traditional day for boot sales. Hopefully I've got two today, let's go. So welcome back to the channel, Tatsters. My name is Jewel Dross, this is Retro Reselling. I buy and sell second-hand mainly things from boot sales, auctions, charity shops, wherever I can get them from, buy them cheap, sell them online for a profit, that's my business. As I said in yesterday's video, uh, the weather has been up and down, sort of rainy, cloudy, sunny. It's can't make its mind up today. I've so far had, well, it's sunny now with blue skies and there's rain on my front window. So yeah, it's another one of them days. Definitely going to my first one today, but we'll have to see a bit later on how the weather holds out for the second one. So yeah, I'll keep an eye on that. But yeah, same again. Strap it to my backpack using the GoPro, see what I'm picking up. Hopefully I don't miss too many things. If I do miss anything that you would have picked up, let me know in the comments below. If you do enjoy this sort of things, like boot sales, making money online, subscribe to the channel, hit the button down there, hit the bell as well, so you get notified when I go live or upload new videos. So, let's get to the early one. First boot sale of the day, let's go. Morning, you alright? Yeah, not too bad. Good, good. I've been watching you on YouTube last few yeah. weeks. My little brother cool. told me about you. I do oh, exactly yeah. what you do, more or less. Yeah. Just behind the boots. Were well, you full time or part time? No, I work yeah. At, I work at the post office over I there. I do. Oh, that's just cool. A, just a bit of money in your pocket. Game yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> that's why I started now. It's uh, yeah. a full thing. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, man. Good luck, mate. See ya. Yeah. How much on the football boots? That's fine, I'll take that please. Five. So I got a bag. You got a change for a five? Yeah, yeah sure. I went to pick that up a bit. Nice <laughs> yeah. Lovely, there's there five. You Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. How much on the games? Uh, those five for the lot. Yeah, I'll take them please. Five for the games, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Only one? Yeah. Oh, you've risked the other one. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, really? The one legged man. How much on a free fruit? 
How much are the boots? Um, I'll do those for ten pounds. How about the helmet as well? That's ten. Okay. Do 15 for both? No. No. I'll get the helmet, please. Oh, yeah. Get them ones for two pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Two. There there you go. Thank, you. Thank you. Cheers. So, for all that boots, there was decent, it was average, I'd say. Not quite a few uh, stalls, sort of three quarters of a field. Not as exciting as previous boot sales, but I'll show you what I did get anyway. I've checked the app. Apparently, the second boot sale is on, but it's just started raining. So I don't think I'm going to bother. There's not going to be many sellers. It's going to eat into my day. So I think I'm going to give it a miss. It should be on next weekend again. So I'll hit it there. And we're actually selling at the second boot sale. And weather should be better. So yeah, only the one, unfortunately. But yeah, still got stuff to show you. Let's get back to the unit and show you what I did get. And here's today's lot. I thought it was a sort of average boot sale. But looking at it here, I've done pretty well. I'm quite happy with what I picked up. Some cool bits. Nice bit of vintage. Nice bit of football boots again. Nice bit of electronics and yeah, nice bundle deal as well. So yeah, again, go through each one, what I paid, what I'm hoping to get for on eBay. We'll start over here and yeah, I really like this pickup here. I've got some nice vintage Christmas lights, Highland Crystal. It's even got the original price here, $12.95. No year on them, but definitely probably 90s, I'd say. Uh, yeah, vintage Christmas lights always sell well. I've paid £3, I think it was, for these. Looking at eBay briefly, someone got £20 plus postage in June for a pair of vintage Christmas lights, this exact set. Obviously, I'm going to aim higher, of course I am. 35 40 I'm going to try, wait till Christmas, like Q4. Uh, it'll soon be around before you know it. There's no rush, it only goes me £3. One of the rare incidences where I will uh, price high and I don't mind waiting. Like I've said before in previous videos, I want to sell stuff quickly. But when it comes to this, um, obviously there is a certain time margin to get the best price. So yeah, doesn't owe me much and yeah, so I don't mind waiting on this, on this occasion. And that's a lot of vintage board games now. Um, unfortunately, I think one of the best ones got taken before I got there. Uh, there was an Escape from Colditz. Uh, that can be like a 30, 40 plus pound game if it's all complete though. And then people were lingering around these as well. They finally put them down and I just swooped in, took the lot. £5 for these six games here. Uh, obviously, I could have picked them out, but I just thought it was easier. Pick them up in the box, get them for a fiver, and then deal with them after. So I don't think this top game's worth much. Zone X, nice vintage looking thing. I'm probably guessing like eight to ten pound maybe on eBay. So I'll list it for a while if it's complete, but then if it starts to linger, I might even donate that one. I'll put it in the boot sale pile. So that's not one I was excited about getting. There's many of these other games, and we've got Game of Nations. Slightly better, probably uh, 12 to 15 pounds on eBay. I'll check it out on Amazon. Obviously, so on Amazon as well. And board games, they tend to mostly go to Amazon. I'll check the prices. It's literally all price dependent. If it's worth more on eBay, I'll send it on eBay. If it's worth a lot more on Amazon, I'll send it to Amazon. It's as simple as that. Uh, be it eBay, it only seems to be about maximum 15 pounds. So again, decent. And we'll see way into profit now if it does sell. This is quite a cool game. Bit different, micro dot. From Parker, looks like 70s to me. Again, got to check it's all there. It's got its original price. There you go, £3.75 when it was new in the shop. Not too much. This might be an Amazon type thing. Sort of £10, £15 maximum for that one. Now we've got the better games. Standard Vintage Monopoly. That'll definitely be Amazon. Get sort of 25 to 30 maybe a little bit more at Christmas. Nice vintage red box. Waddington's Campaign. Again, sort of maybe on eBay, £15-ish. 
but this will be Amazon again, hopefully a bit more, 25, 30, depending on competition. Then this was the standout one, Masterpiece. I can't believe this one wasn't picked up from the guys that picked up the uh, Escape from Colditz. Uh, this is a bit of a bolo, this board game, even on eBay, these are going up to sort of 35 pounds you can get for this Masterpiece game. Uh, and Amazon a bit more, maybe 40 to 50. Again, I have to check for prices. But yeah, if we are sticking it on eBay, it'll be, yeah, £35 game there, if all complete. Nice one. So, all them board games, nice lot of profit to be made from a fibre. Got a helmet next up, uh, AGV helmet. It's ACU approved, this is always handy to look out for. That means it's like obviously past its safety femur bobs. Yeah, nice design, blue and white design, looks really nice. AGV is a decent brand. Helmets can be up and down in price. Um, I bought this one for £10. Yeah, £10 I paid for this one in really good condition. Just need to give the visor a bit of a clean so you can actually see for it. Uh, this should be a sort of 60 to 80 pound helmet here. I like picking up helmets where I can. There can be some really good money in helmets, uh, but then sometimes they can stick for a long time and linger. But uh, yeah, these seem to sell through on eBay nicely. So from a 10, that should be safe. Yeah, 60 to 80, really good mark up there. <sighs> Footwear now, a couple of football boots and a pair of trainers. Got this pair of fillers. Uh, wanted to pick these up for a while. They're like the proper trendy ones. Though the millennials seem to be wearing. Uh, rose gold, so really nice. Apparently she only wore them twice, which I believe. Hardly anywhere on them at all. Immaculate condition on top. Paid up a bit for these. £10, um, which I thought would get maybe 40 to 50 But uh, should only be about sort of 30 maybe a little bit more, 35 So from 10 okay mark up. Uh, I was hoping for a bit more. But yeah, haven't picked these up before. Wanted to try them out. Finally got a pair, do a bit of research, women's size 5, so should sell well on Depop hopefully. Pair of Nike football boots for £2, a bog standard, decent men's size, no frills really, not like the football boots I picked up on Saturday. Um, yeah, they're a special, these aren't as special, just a decent pair. £2, these should be sort of maybe £20, 20 pounds, twenty maybe £25, see how the competition is at the time, but I'm definitely safe from only £2. These were the best probably pick up uh, for footwear today. A pair of Nike Total 90 football boots. They're not the high end. So you get like different models. These are sort of more of the basic design. The higher end model, they would be going for like 100 plus maybe. Um, yeah, for the more basic design in a good men's size. Need to get some new studs, unfortunately, but they should be super cheap. No expensive there. Uh, I think it's four pound to pay for these. Uh, this model should be getting thirty-five to forty pounds. A couple of pounds on the studs. Just make sure they're all complete. I like to complete them if I can. I could sell them like that, maybe. I see how I feel at the time. But yeah, from four pounds should be thirty-five, maybe forty. So yeah, really happy with that markup. Onto electronics. Not really vintage today, apart from this one. This was a freebie from a subscriber. I bought a Cluedo from him last week, so thanks for that. Oh yeah, gave me this as a gift uh, because Ross, the family name, uh, Ross uh, Alarm Clock Radio, cool thing, looks like 80s, maybe early 90s. Uh, yeah, I'm, I've got a clock in here already, I could do with another one really, so I might set that up here, or if I was to sell it, uh, I could probably see between 12 15 pounds for a cool vintage type bedroom design, um, but yeah. Thanks for that mate, I uh, really appreciate that. Obviously a really cool name, can't beat that. So yeah, really appreciate it, thank you. This is one of the pickups of the day in here. Uh, this like, electronics guy had PC bits, I have no idea on PC stuff, like graphics cards. Yeah, these chargers. Canon, obviously very respectable name in the camera industry. It's like a battery charger, rechargeable battery charger. Got all the batteries here. I wanted only a pound each. Uh, I think there's uh, sort of 11 or 12 altogether. Got the batteries as well. All the power cables I've got down here. So yeah, I got the whole lot for a tenner. Just one of these on its own, obviously with a power cable. Should be 15 to 20 pounds just for one. And I've paid 10 pounds for everything here. They're all the same model as well. So one listing and I can just list them all at the same time. I could put them with a battery, if they've got a genuine battery, I could put them together, ask a bit more. Or can sell the batteries on their own. Here's an official Canon one here. This should be getting 10 to 12 pound on its own, so I might split them out. Sell them separately with a power adapter and then sell the batteries on their own. And yeah, got loads here that seem to be all the same. Oh, this one looks slightly different. But yeah, for a pound each, or maybe less than that if there's 11 here, plus all the batteries. 
epic score here. Um, it should be easy to sell and list. Got a nice Philips boombox type music player. Got obviously the tape player, CD, uh, nice radio, nice looking thing. Uh, sort of a standard one really. Paid only £3 from a clearance guy. Same guy I got all the board games from. Uh, £3, this should be uh, nice £25 here. 25 pushing 30 uh, lower end 20 uh, so from three pounds not too much of a pain was it will take a bit more packaging but yeah sort of box standard general sale for me just a nice looking thing and should sell well another nice pickup here um i've picked up printers in the past i'm normally fussy with printers uh, if they're inkjet like you obviously use ink they can dry out the head dries out printers can be faulty anyway um so yeah and if it's something really good, I'll give it a chance. And if it's cheap, which this was, £2 for this Brother um, toner printer, actually. So it's not ink, or it is ink, but it's not like ink jet. It takes toners, which is better. Hasn't got one in there at the moment, so I have to buy a cheapie just to test it out. Or I can just power it on, say, power tested only. But then, obviously, I like to give buyer confidence as much as I can. So yeah, if it's not too expensive, I'll put a cheap toner in, test it out, print out a page. But from £2, this brother, where's the model? Oh, model DCP1612W. W means wireless, so it's a nice wireless printer, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi button, should have Bluetooth as well. These have been going 80 up to £120, believe it or not, even pre-owned and used, which is awesome, from £2. So that's why I might put a bit of extra expense into a toner so I can give buyer confidence and aim for that £100 mark, get three figures for this thing. Bargain of the day between this printer and them chargers, but I'd probably say this one. Last pickup of the day was a bit of an impulse buy. I wasn't really going for one of these, but um, sort of when I asked how much it was, I had a couple of people lingering near me so I sort of bought it, yeah, on an impulse, paid £10 um, for this set of uh, stumps, Kookaburra, obviously cricket stumps. They're spring-loaded, so obviously when the ball hits them, they spring back, they don't fly out the ground or anything. Nice heavy metal base, a bit of rust uh, to the metal, which is unfortunate, but it's an outdoor sport. Hasn't affected the performance at all, they both spring back, all right. So a yeah, good thing, £10. Should be getting about 30, maybe 35 of these, which is decent. Uh, not amazing, but uh, yeah, quite heavy and a bit awkward to ship. Wouldn't be in a rush to get them again, depending on obviously how quick they sell. Also, if you're banging the right season in summer for a summer game, so they should sell quick. Might even try these on Facebook as well. Seems like the sort of thing that might sell on Facebook. Decent pickup, nothing special. That rounds up today's pickups. Decent. And that finishes another week, yet another week. They're just flashing by at the moment, the weeks, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, in July now, later half of the year or second half of the year, um, sales are picking up nicely. I have to say thanks for a few sales. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a sales video tomorrow. So I'll say thanks now to some buyers. Picked this up only on Wednesday, I think it was. Uh, we've got Ash who's bought this. Uh, Magic, thank you so much, George. Hope you have a good day at the boot sale tomorrow, which was today. Looking forward to the next video. It would make my day if you could give me a shout out on your next sold video. Thanks again, Ash. Uh, I think I paid £4 for this, gone for £25. So yeah, really good markup. Uh, and yeah, thanks so much again, Ash, for the sale. And then we've got a badge sale to say thanks for next. Uh, this one's going to Daniel. Uh, Daniel's put another little message as well. Uh, long time subscriber to your channel. Uh, would love a shout out. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah, thanks Daniel for the badge sale. Uh, that'll be going out tomorrow. It's obviously Sunday today. So I'll be back here tomorrow to sort these out. Thanks to everyone that supports the channel. Obviously links in the description to my shops below. And actually, that reminds me, I was gonna try out something new. Obviously I like to give subscribers mates rates type thing, like subscriber sale rates. And I was gonna try out, I was having a bit of a brainstorm. And if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't already, follow me on Instagram now, you'll want to, especially if you're interested in anything in these videos. Like I've done my pickups, so all these things I thought on my Instagram stories for 24 hours or 48, whatever it is, take a picture of each item. So for example, the stumps, I'll take a picture, put it on my Instagram story. And then if you're interested, I'll do like an eBay price, what it'll be listed for, but then the subscriber sale price on my Instagram stories. And then if you're interested, just DM me on Instagram and yeah, pay me on PayPal. That way it saves me, obviously, uh, eBay fees, uh, nice quick sale, and then you get a good deal as well. So 
that's the plan. I don't know if it, we've got to see how it goes. This is in, I haven't even started this yet, so it might go well, might last a week or two. But I thought while well, I get a lot of subscriber sales or a few subscriber sales, I say I want to give you a good deal, keep stuff moving, everyone's happy all around. So if you've seen anything in my recent boot sale videos, look out on Instagram on my Insta stories. I'll be listing stuff on there. Subscriber sale special, nice bit of make rate discount. Uh, and yeah, see how that goes. And with that being said, that's the last thing from me. I'll shut up now, get you, let you get on with your days. Thanks again for watching. Hit that like button if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.